Find the locus of points that are three inches from a circle of radius five inches. So the first thing, when I see this word locus, automatically in my mind I'm thinking set of points. Find the set of points. And the first thing you want to do is you want to find just one point and then two points and then three points and then once you can establish a pattern then you've got the set of points and you can you know describe what that set of points looks like from there so let's take a look at this one here so we're going to draw a circle okay like this all right and it has a radius of five inches so i'm just going to put a five right there now we're looking for the set of points that are three inches from this circle now i'm just going to start off with one point so say maybe like this point right here is three inches from the circle and then maybe this point is three inches from the circle. And then maybe this point, and this point, and this point. And you, you might say to yourself, okay, well it looks like it's another circle that surrounds this circle that's you know eight inches out from the center of the given circle. But at a closer examination, you might realize, well, I could also go, here's a point right here that's three inches from the circle. Okay, and over here, this is three inches from the you know, edge of the circle, and three inches, and three inches. And as you go ahead and establish that pattern, you say, well, here's another circle that's actually inside that circle, and it has a radius of two inches. So our solution set, okay, or our set of points, or our locus, okay, is these two circles right here. I'll just darken them. This inner circle and this outer circle, okay, and you can describe them, you know, a circle with radius eight inches, a circle of radius two inches. Uh, that are concentric or have the same center as the given circle of radius five inches. So are you with me so far? Let's look at another example and you'll start to get a sense of how to do these. The next one says, find the locus of points that are two centimeters from a given line. First thing you wanna do is you just wanna draw that given line. So there's the line right there. And the first thing you wanna do is just find one point that satisfies you know, these requirements here. So the set of points that are two centimeters away. So I'm just gonna pick one point there and maybe another point there, and another point there. See, that's two centimeters, two centimeters, two centimeters. But you can also see, okay, wait, if I go down, okay, like that, on the other side of the line, also two centimeters away, what I end up having is another line that's parallel to the given line, okay, that's ab above and below that given line, okay, two centimeters away. So we basically have two parallel lines that are uh, four centimeters apart, and they're parallel. So you can describe that in words. But again, start with one point, build on that, find a few additional points, establish a pattern, and then go from there. Now the ones that we're doing in this uh, video, these are all in a plane. So this is just in a two-dimensional plane. Following this video, I'm gonna have another video where we're gonna do it in three-dimensional space. So you can check that out if you wanna do some more advanced problems. But we're gonna start with these basic ones in a plane. Okay, two more examples, hang in here with me. Uh, find the locus of points that are equidistant from two points. Okay, so first thing you want to do is just draw those two points. I'll just draw them with like a little X, okay, just so they stand out a little bit more. And let's see, so equidistant. So equidistant would be like, well, there's a point that's equidistant right at the midpoint, right? But then you might start thinking a little bit further and say, well, what about this point? That, that distance and that distance are going to be the same, right? Well, how about over here? Okay, that distance and that distance are going to be the same. How about down here? And so what you start to realize is that, okay, here there's this line right here that's going through the midpoint, okay, that connects these two points, and it's perpendicular, so you realize, hey, this is the perpendicular bisector of the segment that connects the two given points. So that would be the solution. It's the perpendicular bisector uh, of the segment that connects the two given points. Okay, last example, find the set of points. Notice I, notice I even didn't even say the word locus, because I just start get used to saying set whenever I see locus. Find the set of points that are equidistant from three non-collinear points. Now this is a, a good one, a little bit more challenging one, and you might remember this from geometry, but say I have three points that are not in a straight line, they're not collinear. So what you can do is you can actually form a triangle okay, out of these three points like so. And what you wanna do is, again, you wanna find you know, the set of points that are uh, equidistant from those three collinear points. And you might say to yourself, well, if I try to draw a point here, it's gonna be closer to these two points, but further away from, from this point over here on the left, right? And same thing over here. So then you might start to turn your attention to the inside of the triangle and say, well, maybe there's a point here that's on the inside such that, you know, when I measure that distance to each of the three given points, it's gonna be the same. And then you might be saying to yourself, well, this is really like a circle 
and that's the center of the circle. And these three uh, vertices of the triangle are lying on the circle. And if you turn back your attention to what you learned in geometry, this point here is really called the circumcenter. So what you would want to do is you would want to find the three perpendicular bisectors. Okay, perpendicular bisector, you know, it's going to be perpendicular uh, to the side of the triangle and it's going to cut that side in half. So if you draw the three perpendicular bisectors, okay, and you look at where they intersect, that point is going to be the circumcenter meaning that you can circumscribe or draw a circle around the triangle and that point is the solution set. So it's just the, that point is going to be equidistant from the three non-collinear points in a plane and uh, you got it. So I hope I gave you some uh, helpful hints and some tips for working with these uh, loci or locus type problems. Uh, check out my other video about uh, finding the locus in a, in a plane. Uh, not, sorry, not in a plane but in a sphere and uh, I'll see you in the future videos. Go ahead and remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll talk to you soon.